Hello, boys and girls. It's Karen Lee joining you with another session of Karen Reads here in my living room in South Berwick, where it's 70 degrees out. Wow. I adore this book. It's called Yo Soy Muslim, and I believe Yo Soy means either you are or I am. But both of those translations work. Yo Soy Muslim, a father's letter to his daughter. Dear daughter, it has been said, if you climb a tree to the very top and laugh, your smile will touch the sky. If you stay there overnight, you will learn to count stars like dreams. Inside cities, where skyscrapers cloud the view of everything above, Walk in the steel shadows, remembering the Mayan pyramids that too lived amongst the heavens. The Mayan castles in Peru. Their own skyscrapers. There are questions we all ask when we are learning what it means to be human. Who invented my hands? Why wasn't I born with wings? And does the moon ever get lonely? There are questions the world will ask. What are you and where are you from? And there will come a day when some people in the world will not smile at you. Because she's a Muslim. The father is just warning his daughter. On that day, tell them this. Yo soy Muslim. I am from Allah, angels, and a place almost as old as time. I speak Spanish, Arabic, and dreams. Mi mama creates life. Mi abuelo worked the fields. My ancestors did amazing things, and so will I. No matter what they say, know that you are wondrous, a child of crescent moons, 
a builder of mosques, a descendant of brilliance, and an ancestor in training. Say it with me, Yo soy Muslim. Our prayers were here before any borders were. Yo soy Muslim and the deserts hold the secrets of souls. Yo soy Muslim. Hummingbirds send blessings with their wings. Yo soy Muslim. If you listen closely to the drum, you can hear God. Dance, smile, laugh. Pray, say it with me. Yo soy Muslim, yo soy Muslim. By those who dance with the wind, smile at the sun, laugh in the rain. The last sentence, the last page, just devoted to two words and one idea, and pray. That's how important that is to Muslims. Okay, I neglected to tell you the name of the writer and the artist. The writer is Mark Gonzalez who's a very innovative storyteller, starting to become famous around the world because he tells stories about so many cultures and he's such a good storyteller. He, he lives between California and Northern Africa. <laughs> Amini is the illustrator. She's done other children's books and she grew up in Iran, which is a mostly Muslim country. But now she lives in England. Okay, I hope you enjoyed the book as much as I did.